James Scheimer with Chesapeake Sport Pilot. We're here with the Autogyro Calidus. This is an interesting little aircraft that I fortunately had an opportunity to get to go flying in today. But tell us a little bit about this airplane. Well, this is a second model from uh, Autogyro USA, or Germany is where the air aircraft's manufactured. It's a carbon fiber composite construction with stainless steel tail boom and 6,000 series aluminum rotor blades. Tell us about the flying characteristics of this Autogyro. Oh, it's a ball to fly. Its performance is incredible. It's a stole aircraft. You know, it, it can do demonstrate about 30 feet to 300 feet, depending on your weight. We get about a 90 knot cruise out of it on Rotax 912. It's four and a half gallons an hour. It has four and a half hours of endurance with reserve. It has many, many radio options, including Dynon Skyview, with all the options that they offer, including an autopilot. I've flown different airplanes in light sport and Part 43 aircraft. My personal airplane is a 1947 PA-12. Love the airplane, but it can't compare to this. <laughs> I mean, there's just nothing else like a gyroplane. Standing here by the booth, we heard a couple of people come up and say, well, you couldn't fly it cross-country, but this is certainly a good cross-country machine. It is, I think. You know, at a 100-mile-an-hour airplane on the fuel that you can carry, we flew it down from Baltimore here to Sebring. We flew to Oshkosh, and that's one of the biggest things is people come up and say, oh, you flew this here? I say, well, yeah, it's an airplane. <laughs> yeah, it only makes sense. they do. <laughs> Talk a little bit about the differences between an autogyro and a standard airplane and what might have a pilot gravitate towards an aircraft like this. Oh, just the platform. You, you can fly at very slow air speeds, very safely. We uh, place them in law enforcement agencies around the country and it's an excellent platform for them. Smaller agencies that can't afford the helicopter, this is a great option. Is it a light sport airplane? Yes, sir. It meets the light sport category. Unfortunately, we don't have a category in the U.S. for factory-built gyro. So we are importing these as experimental amateur-built kits. The kits are approved in CAT 49-51%, and we're seeing about a 50-hour build. Jamie, thanks very much for taking some time to talk with us on Aero TV. It's a pleasure. Thanks for coming out. We're happy to be here. Aero TV is brought to you by... Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com.